you can't be in a better community where the kids care and the teachers care and it really works together. It's just a special place to be. This is where I met my husband. This is where my husband's parents met. It, it really is like a family, and I, and I joke about it sometimes. Like, once you get in, you never get out. We feel the connection um, to the parents, to our alum, uh, to the students that are here. They reach out, they help. There's so much of a family. We're a family. We're just a family. Just anywhere else pales in comparison. When we have a change, it's not really effective as a change. It's a growth to me. When I came in 81, Jerry Healy was a vice principal. We haven't changed, we've grown. The school has grown dramatically, yes. We're growing, we're bursting at the seams, and we need, we need more space. Every other school in Charlotte has a full performing arts capacities. We don't. And we have our football stadium and lacrosse. They, we have, they all have their stadium, but we don't have our venue. It's not a stage and it's not a performing arts theater. Or, you know, it's a basketball court. It's I can't think of one musical we've ever done that has not had a sound problem. As outstanding as the performances are every year, I always feel disappointed in the quality of the sound, which has nothing to do with the kids or anybody, in, or, or the technicians or anyone involved. It's just, um, it's a gym. <laughs> You get X amount of time in the gym, and that is non-negotiable. The drama department trying to do performances, they're competing for the gym time with the sports teams, and drama always loses, and that's really unfortunate. And it's the same thing with dance. Jennifer has to teach dance in a wrestling room, on a mat. You don't learn how to dance on a mat. The band program, oh my goodness. If you go in there and see they have shuts up in the acoustical tile because the sound is very detrimental to people's ears, to the students' ears. So there's about 200 people who have to find a parking space that's outside of our parking lot. Uh, there's nowhere to park, it's, it's really an issue. Well, you have kids that park over across the street and now they're crossing over a major highway. With the addition of a parking deck, we will be able to provide all juniors and seniors and some sophomores the opportunity to find space on campus where it will be safer than it is currently. There are teachers in every department that have to float. We have to provide carts for them to go class to class. This space will free up other space for us to convert back into classrooms so that all teachers can have a space to call their own. We need to continue to grow. We need to continue to provide for all our students. When they showed us the specs of it, it, it was we were blown away. If you go down to Fran Brown's hallway, she has everything up on center blocks, and no one goes down that hallway. Visual arts would be displayed everywhere. I love the auditorium. I love the idea that it has a little bit of a balcony. It just adds a little bit more intimacy, a little bit more class. Dance would have the stage to actually have class on, not the wrestling room. And I love the idea of a window we'll be able to project images in the evening. We could literally become the go-to place for art in South Charlotte and this would make us competitive with any school in the city, bar none. Um, the College Board released information about a correlation between students who take fine arts and their math and verbal SAT scores. The more years of fine arts students had a direct correlation and a higher both verbal and math SAT score. I mean, math is about patterns, and I think music is about patterns as well. The exposure to the arts creates a very whole person. We're looking for problem solvers, not kids who can memorize things. It's as important an area as all of the things our sports teams do. That is God's gift to us to express our soul. But they don't have a venue to do it in. We've got the people, we don't have the place. I want them to finish our school. Our school's not finished. How will the next generation benefit from your generous gift. Because we know the legacy that's been left by the students and parents previously. My question to you is, what is your legacy?